we move to the featherweight division, Luis Palomino and Shaman Marias. There you see the tail of the tape, a 10-year age difference from the Peruvian to the Brazilian, but this should be an explosive fight. Two of the very best in the business when it comes to the world of MMA. So with that, we set it up inside the Decagon Jazz. Securo has our official introductions. So here we go in what should be a very entertaining fight, Shale. I've said it all week long. This, in my opinion, could be the fight of the night. Yeah, you certainly have. And you know <laughs> what? I can't disagree. I will tell you, when Luis Palomino Great, announced sir. that he was going to come sir. down to featherweight, no guys like Lance Palmer, the champion Almeida, these guys start swallowing real deep. This is a fight that everybody's going to watch. When Luis came in, the underdog in this contest and ranked two spots lower, it surprised me. It did surprise me. Shaman Marias, one of the toughest fighters. The only blemish on his record is the loss to the champion, Marlon Marias. And Palomino, one of the toughest, pound for pound. I mean, this guy, you, you pretty much have to take him completely out of the decagon to get a win over him. He is not going to go away easy. That is an understatement. Look, he, he, uh, Palomino has had some problems breathing. He comes out so, so hard, much like Justin Gaethje does. He uses a lot of that energy early on in a three-round fight. This is no problem for him. And I'll also remind you, the last time we saw him was in a tournament format. He's only got to take on one man tonight. This is easy by the standards that he set for himself in his last outing. Scheduled for three rounds in the featherweight division. That's 15 minutes of fighting if it goes the distance. Luis Palomino in the red trunks, just trying to get a feel for the speed of Shaman Marias and the distance. Marias is one of those quick twitch fighters. He can strike so quickly. One of the guys that really pushed Marlon Marias almost all the way to the distance, and the fans getting a little uncomfortable here in the Grand Theater because they expected fireworks early on, but this is a sign of respect because both these guys know that either one of them can take it out in one punch. I tell you what, I love it when the crowd gets like that. They buy the ticket, they've got the right to respond how they want, but gentlemen, we are only 60 seconds in. Let oh these guys get acquainted. Goodness. Big shot there. Palomino, oh, and Palomino lands again. Moraes takes it like it's nothing, begins to fire back, but he's got to come forward. So one thing that Palomino does is he will take ground. Todd, when he fires a shot, he comes forward. He takes ground. He cuts off the ring very well. Luis Palomino with a big flurry there to wake up Shaman Marias and the crowd. Palomino comes in 38 professional fights. This is his 39th professional fight. And Shaman Marias, a very well-versed MMA practitioner, this is just his 10th professional fight. A couple of great kicks there by Marias. Just lands a right power kick to the head. Definitely going to give Palomino something to think about. There, a combination by both guys. They circle off, and again, it's Palomino taking ground here. Morias, excellent position. Hands where they need to be, chin where it needs to be, so he's able to take some of these shots. And both of these fighters just top-level athletes. Luis Palomino, well-versed in capoeira, kickboxing. He's a big hitter, and he has a steel jaw. Moraes now starting to do the stalking. Palomino's gonna need to circle up. There's a one-two. Luis Palomino, the aggressor early on as we approach two minutes to go in this one. Five minute rounds, we're scheduled for three. Look at the composure of Shaman Moraes. Stays composed, keeps his hands up. Both guys coming in with a flurry here. I don't know who's getting the best of it, Todd. Now, this is what See you this? were expecting yep, right here. Exactly. You, that's what you've been waiting for all week. <laughs> Shaman Marias puts his hands up and says, bring it. Luis Palomino happy to oblige. Boy, the range of both these fighters, Chael, you're not going to see them attack one spot. They're going to go low, middle section. They're going to go up top, as we saw just moments ago from Shaman Marias with that kick. Snaps it off to the head of Palomino. Some of these kicks by Marias are just outstanding. He's not only kicking, he's not only doing it quick and with power, he's keeping his hands up where they need to be. He's not putting himself in jeopardy. Usually you have to sacrifice. You go for the big kick, but now you're sacrificing and exposing yourself. He's keeping perfect position, Todd. Palomino continues to bring the heavy punches. He will swing for the fences, so to speak. If he lands, it's good night. And so far, Shaman Marias has been able to avoid a straight punch as he comes forward with, yet again, Palomino in the red trunks. So there's someone in the crowd or the corner from Shaman Marias and watch out for that overhand. It's like, that is an understatement. 
nice kick, and Palomino looks for a shot, can't get it done. Marias, good hips there, good defense, and again, back with the composure. Very calm, stalks forward. Palomino does not do his best work laterally or backing up. He does yep. it coming forward, but only one guy can come forward at a time. If Morias continues to do this all night, it's gonna be very hard for Palomino to get off. There's oh, a... Caught him with the left. That's a shot that got through. 10 seconds to go and a big left answered by Morias. Well, they're even now, aren't they? And both men continue to fight as we go to the end of the first round. We'll be back for the second when we return live on NBCSN. Back inside the Grand Theater, this is WSOF 31. Todd Harris, Chael Senna, Joey Varner. Round number two just getting underway way in the featherweight division after a very explosive finish to round number one between Luis Palomino in the red trunks and Shaman Marias in the white trunks. And look at Marias, he's coming forward right now. This is very telling in this fight. Both guys want to do this, but they can't both do it at the same time. We've got a wrestling match. Marias is now taking ground, chin down, hands up, and there's another lightning fast kick. And for more on the Palomino corner, we check in with Joey Varner. All right, Todd. Well, Palomino's corner's instructions were precise. They said keep using that movement to set up your punches, but don't engage with them. Don't get into a firefight. Pick your shots, place your punches, and get out of the way before he can react and counter. Good advice, Chael. Yeah, can't disagree with any of that. Engaging with Shaman Marias is never good for your health, and that's exactly what they're trying to do is keep Luis Palomino through three rounds. Marias just isn't giving him any openings. We've seen Palomino force some. We've seen him create some and get in there on some flurries. But Marias has the basics down, hands up, chin down. Clayton Hires talks about this all the time. You must follow the basics. Palomino's moving well, but Marias is the one taking ground, moving forward, cutting off the Decagon. Very important, very important and it takes years to develop these skills. Shaman Marias, one of the most talented, skilled, extremely explosive fighters, and look at this. Comes in with a combination which always puts a smile on the face of Boss Root. If you're doing a combo and you're finishing with a kick, <laughs> Boss is happy. <laughs> Shaman Marias with the oh. footwork, and you heard that snapping off the top. Palomino just getting the hand up there to deflect it, otherwise it's good night for him. And notice when Palomino comes forward, particularly with that jab, Todd, he's having good yep. luck. He's just coming forward, and then he's choosing to either back up or go lateral. I'd like to see him come forward and then come forward Watch again and, and again hand. and again. Watch your fingers close your hands. Dan Mergliata warning Shaman Moraes when he comes in with the hands, keep the fingers closed. Inadvertent poke in the eye of Luis Palomino. But again, look how fast those kicks come. While his hands stay in perfect yep. position. Incredible skill. Luis Palomino will not shy away from ducking in and throwing some heavy leather. He knows he's going to get the return fire, but somehow he manages to get in and get back out. There, another good jab. Yep. He comes forward, but then he circles. Saw that head kick coming. There, again, Palomino comes forward, lands the jab, but then chooses to circle. Shane Marias continues to stalk Luis Palomino. Remember, Marias is 25 years of age, Palomino 35 years of age. Says number is means nothing to him. 35 years yeah. young. Getting Todd. it done. Getting it done, Luis Palomino. Let's talk about ah, the weight drop. Ah. He comes down and again. Listen, one more time, lose a point. Listen. This is a big Both deal. Like this. Up, right? Listen to this, fans at home. Right. One more time. And Big Dan right. will take a point. Go. Now those are incidental. Those are not on purpose by Morias, but the bottom line is the warning has come and the next time will cost him a point. In a three round contest, that will likely cost him a fight. And you know Shaman, this is not something he's trying to, you know, poke the eye out of Palomino. He's not trying to, but it's his natural hand of where he paused that left forward and he's keeping his fingers open and it's finding the eyes of Palomino. That's right. And a lot of referees will get away with it with, uh, with but not one as good as Dan Mergliata. So the warning's been given to Shaman Marias. Open fingers will not fly. A point will be taken away if it happens again. So he is on point. And Luis Palomino looking to take advantage. Hopefully the momentum can shift into his favor. It was just moments ago, I was going to ask you about the weight drop as Luis Palomino coming down in a different weight class. He looks to be in fantastic shape. I fully agree with that. He had a great attitude all week. When I spoke to him earlier in the week, he said, look, I got a nutritionist. My energy is higher now than it was at 155. I would make this argument, though, Todd, and it's overlooked by a lot of athletes. 
the lower you go, the harder it gets. Yep. So many times you take a look at that while you're walking around bigger than these guys. You think, well, these guys are small. Well, you're about to be that same size, and it's just a little bit quicker, a little bit more experience. I think that it's a harder weight class. That's my opinion. And true that as the older you get, obviously it's harder to cut that weight. It doesn't come off quite as fast as when you're 25. Yeah, that's exactly right. Usually if a guy wants to change weights lower in his career, the guys that move up a weight class right. have a little bit better success. I am just blown away with Marias' ability to kick while keeping his hands in good position. This is just such a seasoned athlete out here. I can see the hours and hours he's put in the room, round after round of sparring. And Shaman and Marias, one of the best athletes as far as conditioning goes. You'll see him rarely breathing heavy, opening the mouth in these fights. He just continues to come forward in workmanlike fashion. Cut now on the forehead of Luis Palomino. Final 10 seconds of round number two, so we will have a third and final round and a nice flurry coming from Palomino to end round number two. What right. a way to finish. Wow. Hey, Doc. Luis Palomino up and ready to go. You see the cut just on the hairline of his forehead. That suffered in round number two. Todd okay, Harris, Chael Sonnen, and Joey point. Varner with you in Mashantucket, Connecticut. As we check in, with Joey Varner and Shaman Marias' corner. All right, Todd, the instructions were clear for Shaman Marias. First off, keep his back against off the cage. Second, control the distance. Third, kick, 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 and his coach was very deliberate. He said, kick until you break his arms. <laughs> all right, we will see if Shaman does just that. He has, he has the kick on lock, Chael. I mean, that's something he can do all night and into his sleep. Lightning fast as well. You know, let's talk about this cut that Palomino's got. The one thing about that hairline, it will not hurt him a lot, but it will bleed a lot, and that could come into his eyes. That's always the problem when you have a cut anywhere above the eyes, is that blood can get in there and start to affect your vision. I, I comment on that as I'm seeing some drips headed that way now. So Big Dan Mergliata in control of this fight. We'll keep an eye on that amongst everything else. And as we remind you, Shimon Marais has already been warned for open fingers into the eyes of Luis Palomino. And here we are in the third and final round, a fight that I'll have to confer with my professional cohort here. Shimon Marais in control of this fight. Yes, absolutely. It's a close contest. Luis Palomino has got to come forward. Every time he does, he lands. And if he doesn't land, he can get Shaman to back away. As he's backing away, of course, his offense isn't working. But Luis is choosing to go lateral and backwards, and it's hurting him. It's close. It's a competitive fight, but he is having problems here. Chael, you know as a professional fighter, you've been in this situation before. When it goes the distance, you hand it into the hands of judges. And we have seen in undercard fights before where things where you thought you knew clearly who won that fight, and it went 180 the opposite. That's exactly right. I'll tell you one thing that would help Palomino. He's struggling with the kicks here. This is the story of the fight, okay? Moraes is landing these kicks. If Palomino pressures him forward, as I'm suggesting he should do, not only will his offense work, but it will take those kicks away. It will take that range away, and all of a sudden the kicks don't work. It gets into more of a boxing or a wrestling range, and that would favor, from what we've seen so far, Luis Palomino. Palomino, originally from Peru, taking on Shema Marias from Brazil. An international tilt here in Connecticut at WSOF 31 as we approach 240 left in this fight with Shema Marias in the white trunks really in control, but the pace has slowed considerably here in round three. And you just get the feeling that Luis Palomino is going to need a flurry like he had at the end of round number two, Chael, but he's going to need to make it last longer than those final 10 seconds. He's going to need to go 30 to a minute and really do some damage on Marias. Yeah, that's right. If he's got the lungs, if he's got the cardio, and it's hard to tell. I'm watching him right now. He still looks pretty light on his feet. I don't know how he's feeling inside, but if he's got it, Todd, there's no reason to wait to hear that final Oof. 10. That is what he yep. needs, and he needs a few more of them. So Palomino taking a cue from Chael Sonnen comes in with a double tap of that left and it gets through, makes contact on Marias. He needs much more of that. He needs to do it quickly because we are now under one minute and 50 seconds. And a takedown attempt that he gets it this time. Look at this scramble by Marias. Yep. Wow. That's what you want to do. You hit that mat. You want to use that as a trigger. You just bounce right back up to your feet. A lot of energy by both guys. But worse for the wear is Palomino, because he's counting on getting that position and being able to hold it. Really great job of scrambling there by Morias. 
Now, is that an indication that Shayma Marias wants nothing to do with the ground game with Luis Palomino, or is it because he's having so much success standing, why bother? I think it's a little bit of both. Why be on bottom if you don't need to? If you're winning on the cards, you don't need that Hail Mary pass known as a submission. Stay on your feet, Ooh. dance with the one that's brought you good, an elbow over the top. And you see the blood now on the face of Shayma Marias. That is not his own. That is from the clinch with Luis Palomino, who sustained a cut on his forehead earlier in the fight in round number two. I suppose that's only fair. If you make a guy bleed, I guess you deserve to get a little of it on you. Wash those shorts and some bleach tonight. Those white shorts are going to need a lot of bleach. Another great head kick. So fast by Marias. He changes his feet. He does what we call the march step. Throws that big power leg right up to the face. Whether it, whether it lands knockout yes. punches or not, that's not what this is about. We're, we're impressing the judges right now as we come into the final 30 seconds of this contest. And this is Palomino time. If he wants to do something special, it's got to happen here. Marias, good, disciplined Muay Thai here. Final 10 seconds of this one. A takedown attempt. Palomino shrugs it off, and they'll go with a flurry to end the third and final round. Great kick there. <laughs> Marias with that great kick to finish that fight. Wow. WSOF 31, the decision is in, in the featherweight bout between Palomino and Marias. We send it inside the Decagon and Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of professional fighting, we go to your judges' scorecards. Judges Dave Peabody, Dave Tonelli, and Sue Sinadad score it all 29 28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Shame on!